let it, let it, let it, let it, let it, bang, bang. from Inglorious Fishing, currently got Baker with us and we're going to go do a little bit of bait digging and tomorrow evening we're going to do a little bit of shore fishing. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, hopefully we get a few clams, a few ragworm, a few logworm, a few crabs, everything like that. So stay tuned, it's Inglorious Fishing. So guys, we're currently uh, digging down St. Peterport Harbour. Uh, the shoreline's quite high up, so we're gonna have to be quite quick about this. I'm gonna start down here. This is where I had the big ragworm last time, so give it a go down here. And uh, if not, we'll make our way further down to the shoreline. Hopefully you get some nice worms today. Anyway, bring you back. Oh guys, quick view so far. I've got some nice ragworm, a couple of bits of white bait and a couple of cockles so far. The tide is coming up though, uh, drastically. So we're going to have to be quick. Baker's just giving his hands a quick wash because of the clay. <laughs> absolute nightmare, this stuff. It's absolutely thick clay, this stuff. Look at it here, guys. That's it there. But anyway, stay tuned and uh, hopefully get a few more ragworm and see for the session. Wormies, baby! Well, guys, we've just finished the bait digging uh, down here. Uh, this is what we got. There's a little glimpse of it. We've got some fine ragworm there for tomorrow. Uh, be targeting red mullet and bream predominantly, but hey, anything will go for that. Got four cockles there. A couple of big ones, a couple of medium ones. Anyway, like I said, that's what we'll be going for tomorrow, red mullet. Baker's ecstatic again, he wants to catch some more fish, yep. he loves it. Anyway, like I said, it's currently, uh, well, the rain stopped, but it's going to rain again, so stay tuned, the wind's down, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, Danny from Inglorious Fishing. It's currently the day after from when me and Baker dug the ragworm, it's currently a Sunday evening. Uh, we've got an onshore breeze, it's a northeasterly, it's coming right into us, so yeah, it's, it's not the best, but hopefully we can do something with the ragworm that we got. We're going to be targeting red mullet, bream, uh, little whiting, that sort of thing, so uh, stay tuned and hopefully when the tide gets a little bit up, we'll get some squid and cuttlefish. It's a glorious fishing. Guys, I apologise for the wind noise, but unfortunately that's the wind and we can't help that. Bacon's got his rod out. We're both on uh, double hook setups and uh, both using one o hooks. I think Bacon might be on two o's. But yeah, we're using the ragworm that we had on and uh, hopefully get a few knocks soon. There has been a lot caught lately off the shore, but hopefully we can produce something. Stay tuned. Well guys, life boat's obviously just come in from a shell. I think it was for a local trawler, to be honest. 
Sorry about the wind noise, this easterly is horrible. We've had nothing as such as yet. We've probably been here 20 minutes, half hour, and we've had nothing on any of the rods yet. But stay tuned. I'm a little hopeful. Hopefully we get one fish, red mullet, something like that. Hopefully it'll save the night and save digging that bait. Well, we've got currently nothing at the moment, guys. So I was a bit cold, so I decided to pop off. Got myself some lovely chips. Anyway, stay tuned. I think Baker missed the squid, so hopefully he gets them. Well, guys, we're two hours in, and we haven't even had a bite. I'm not joking. All that ragworm effort digging. Digging effort, not effort digging. All that ragworm digging for nothing. Anyway, we're going to pursue for a bit longer. For another hour and a half at least. Hopefully, we'll get some. move location and uh, currently on the other side just giving it bass Mario's here as well we had the octopus he's out on the bottom as well he's had a couple of squid already he had a four pounder here the other night four pound nine or something so anyway stay tuned and hopefully we get you some yeah. well guys we've had nothing ten to nine but Mario's got he's got a little whip there probably about another five yeah, five, six pound conga that. Yeah. Ooh, good fighter though. Yeah, it's the flip will die. Yep. Typical death roll of the congas. Yeah. Mario there with a fine conga. Beautiful fish. Yeah, it's about five, five, six pounds. Beautiful conga there, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Get your bit of the light, just so you can see it a bit more. There we are. Sit there. One fish. Nice, fat yeah. one. A bit nice. under a meter, yeah. 17 centimeters. My God, how do you take the shape of that mouth now? <laughs> Mate, not the ball weight as well. He swallowed the hook and the ball weight. Anyway, stay tuned. Hopefully, we get something. Well, guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Absolutely nothing. Waste of time. Staying, Baker's staying. He's going to try and get a fish. Hopefully pull out the blank. Anyway, I'm off. I'm tired from turbot fishing. So I'm going to sleep. Anyway, if you like the channel, like, subscribe. See you next time.